I have been watching so many videos lately about people talking about what's not in style anymore, what not to wear in 2023. And I'm over here like, I'll wear whatever I want and so should you. So that's basically what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna tell you about some of the outdated trends. I guess you could, I don't know, are they outdated? It's just that not that many people are wearing them anymore. And I guess brands aren't really like coming out with these styles that much, but I wanna talk about the outdated trends that I still like, that I still wear. And I think that if you like something that's not in fashion right now, who cares? Like. Wear whatever makes you happy, wear whatever you feel comfortable in. And I feel like so many of the trends that are happening right now are maybe not suitable for every body type and not everybody is gonna be into that and that's totally fine. So don't feel like you have to follow trends. I'm not bashing anybody who's like making these kind of videos because honestly, I might make one in the future myself. Who knows? Like, I think they're fun to watch. I like watching them, but I also just want to give you a reminder that it's okay to wear whatever you want. And if you have things in your wardrobe that maybe doesn't suit the this year's trend, who cares, right? So let's just get into the list. The first thing I feel like I should mention is one thing that I saw someone mention in a video, and that's like the pumpkin girl aesthetic and like the very Pinteresty fall outfits. And honestly, I really like these things. I think they look cute and I will still keep wearing them. And I'm thinking especially like leggings with like flannels and knee high boots and an infinity scarf. Listen, infinity scarves, I know they had their time. I still like them. I still wear them, honestly. So I, I just feel like they're, they're maybe not trendy, but they're so much more practical. Like I find the scarves that you have to like twist around you are just like annoying. <laughs> like maybe that is just me, right? Like I feel like they just never like lay properly and it's just so much easier to just have a round piece of fabric and put it over your head and it just stays there and it looks great. So I like infinitive scarves still. I'll still wear them. Like I said, I have one I really love. It's like a big fluffy black one and my cat loves it too. So it's like a win-win because we both like infinity scarves, right? <laughs> but I, th I still think they're cute. I still think leggings are cute. I still wear leggings all the time. And I feel like one of my kind of go-to fall outfit formulas, if you would call it that, is basically leggings with some kind of button-up shirt and like a sweater over the top with probably boots. Like, I think that looks so cute. It's for me something that works very well on days where I just, I don't wanna think about what to wear. Like, I know I like this. I know it looks good on me. I know it's gonna be comfortable. I don't have to like fuss with it the rest of the day. And it's just something that works for me. Let me know if you wanna see a video about like fall outfit formulas that maybe you haven't thought of. I don't know, maybe you've thought of it too. <laughs> but I feel like I definitely have my, you know, things that I, I lean towards on days where I don't feel like being too fancy with my, my the, the way that I dress my outfit. So if you wanna see that, let me know. Something else that I feel like is so out right now, and even though brands still make them, you don't see as many fashionable people wearing them anymore, and that's skinny jeans. Honestly, skinny jeans for fall is just so, like what else am I gonna wear with my boots? Like my knee-high boots. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I just, I need something that's going to be easily tuckable, you know, and I really like wearing knee high boots in the fall. I think it looks so cute. Like I said before with my previous uh, thing, I just, I like knee high boots. And if I'm going to wear pants with knee high boots, it needs to be skinny jeans because like, what else am I going to wear unless I have the pants outside of the, but then it doesn't make sense to wear knee high. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe I'm just crazy, but I'm still gonna wear them. Um, I, I've definitely gotten into like more styles of jeans and pants in general. And I, I do think it's been fun to experiment and it's not something that I, I do feel like I was very stuck in like a skinny jean rut for a while. Also because I'm short, it's easier to buy skinny jeans because you don't have to hem them. You can just kind of roll them up and like make them look fine. But with wider like pants and stuff, a lot of the time, you know, they might not come in a petite, like I'm 5'1", so it's hard for me to find flare jeans, flare pants, stuff like that without having to hem them. So I have actually taken some pants in to get hemmed that I'm probably gonna pick up later today because that's something that I need to do in order to not wear skinny jeans. <laughs> but like I said, I still like them, still gonna wear them. I still think they look great. I, I think they're a really great option that's just easy to wear and you could just put on a pair with boots and a sweater and you're you're good to go and you're out the door. So yeah, I like them still and I, I, I get that they get a lot of hate because a lot of people are probably traumatized from wearing them in the past, but I still love them. Another piece of clothing that I do feel like is coming back a little bit, but it's definitely been a few years since we've seen this trend really, you know, take off. And it is very much a Pinterest board aesthetic from like back in the day. I used to not really be into Pinterest, but 
Having been more into fashion lately, it's definitely a place that I like to spend time on and I find a lot of really good outfit inspiration on Pinterest. Also, I do plan on making a video like recreating Pinterest outfits for fall. I think that'll be really fun. So keep an eye out for that because it'll definitely be coming. But the thing that I, I wanted to mention is basically skater skirts. And I think that for a lot of people, skater skirts are very flattering. And I'm not someone who's like, you gotta wear flattering clothing to like flatter your body, like wear whatever you want. But I, I think for myself, for my body type, I'm definitely like a pear shaped. So skater skirts work very well for me because it's not something that needs to have like an exact fit in order to fit my bottom half of my body. As long as it fits my waist, it'll look good. So I really like them. I have a lot of skater skirts and I really hope that they start popping up in stores again because it's one of those things that I like having a lot of in my wardrobe because they're so easy to wear for me. I can easily just wear them with a turtleneck, a pair of tights and like whatever shoes I feel like on the day and it's like a super cute fall outfit. So definitely something that I'm excited is probably going to be trending a little more than it has been. So I did put it on this list even though it is sort of coming back but I do think it's one of those things that just hasn't really been that popular lately. So I. I thought I would mention it because it is a piece of clothing that I really enjoy that I don't see a lot of people wearing anymore. I've seen this next item and this is a very specific item because I, I remember when these were popular and this is the Jeffrey Campbell like platform like booties I guess you would call them like there were so many of them I remember back in the day. I was in London when these were like really popping off and I saw them everywhere and I thought they were so cool. I never ended up getting a pair but every time I see them now on like I said Pinterest or just photos of them I'm like ah, god I really want a pair of those. Like I think they're so fun and yeah they might be a little out of style at this very moment but trust me when I say they'll come back. They will come back and when they do I will be one of the first ones to probably buy a new pair because I think they look awesome and for someone who's very short platforms are like ugh, they're just the best and I don't have a lot of I don't wear a lot of high like shoes in general because I feel like they're just not very practical but for dressing up and for like the purpose of the outfit I think they look amazing and I actually could see some of those being really comfortable as well so I I hope that it's something that's gonna you know blow up again the way that it used to because I could just imagine so many cool styles with like what I have in my wardrobe and I think it would just be something that's really fun to wear. Something else that I feel like kind of comes and goes, like this is not something that's really ever out of trend or fashion or whatever. And it's, I would say leopard is probably the one thing that you haven't seen that much of lately. And I love leopard print. I love animal prints in general. I think they're so fun. And I, I think it can be done right and it can be done wrong. I do think that they're kind of tacky ways to wear animal print, but I think in general, it can look really classy. It could really dress up a look. And it's something that's very eye catching without looking like, I feel like it's the kind of print that you could wear anywhere and it could be appropriate depending on the situation. So I really, really, really like leopard print. Another thing I want to just add into the same category is camo. I also feel like camo has not been, it's not had its moment lately. <laughs> And I really like camo. I bought a pair of camo cargo pants that you saw in a previous video. I can link that here if you want to see it, but I've been loving those. And just in general, I really like camo. I even bought a like a long maxi camo dress that you also saw in my latest come shopping with me video that I've, I've worn once since I bought it. And it was just so fun. Like I really like camo. I, I wish it would stay around forever, be like everywhere because... I don't know, it's just, it's, to me it's a fun print and it makes me feel kind of badass in a way. I don't know, I, I just like it. Another thing that I kind of miss when these were popular and that is not only skinny jeans but colored skinny jeans because back when they used to have their moment, um, I found it really hard for myself, for my body type to find any that fit me. And now there are so many brands that I feel like are catering more to like making curvy lines of pants. And I think that there would be so many more cute options for colored skinny pants than there were back in the day. And I feel like I would really find some that I would absolutely love. So it's one thing that I, I wish would come back. And it's something that even though I love it, I don't really own a lot of it because they're just they're just not around right now, which makes me a little sad. And I don't know if I've said that on this channel yet, but I grew up in Norway. So shopping options in Norway were definitely more limited in, 
in the the kind of styles and you know proportions that you could find compared to what it is here in the states now and i've lived here for a while and i'm, I'm pretty sure back in norway you still wouldn't be able to find a curvy line in any of their you know like local stores like that just wouldn't happen so i really hope the color skinny jeans come back or just like colored pants in general i feel like it's not as big as maybe i would like i do feel like there are some colors that are are trending that you can find in store still but i wish there were more options for colored bottoms because i'm a very colorful person i like to dress very colorfully and i just think it's a it's a fun piece of clothing that i i wish i would see more on other people and in stores the last thing on my list is something that I feel like a lot of people probably hate this trend. And I don't know if it's just nostalgic for me because my mom still wears this and it's something that she really likes and that's just tunics. I do think that tunics had, you know, a place when leggings used to be really popular. And again, I love wearing leggings. I think leggings are so functional. They're so comfortable. They can still look cute. And just depending on what you pair them with, I do think wearing leggings with a tunic and boots and stuff like that can be really cute. So it's something that I sort of wish would come back. I'm not sure like how it would come back in more of a a trendy stylish way I sometimes it could look a little frumpy back in the day when they used to be popular and I remember like people wearing them with like LuLaRoe leggings which let's not get into that because we don't support MLMs on this channel but I just it's it's a piece of clothing that I I feel like was very again not just nostalgic but like very comfortable and it felt like something that you could just throw on and like not have to really worry about it. it was very easy to wear and it would look cute depending on what you paired it with so those are the trends that i still like um i don't always wear these trends still but when i see them out and about i'm definitely not like oh that's not a very stylish person like that is not what i think i'm like oh that's cute maybe i should get a tunic you know what i mean like it's it's more in the more in that uh, kind of way that i i look at them but anyway i just wanted to make this video because i thought it'd be fun and i would love to hear what kind of trends that you still love and you still wear or just styles that you wish would be popular again i would love to to read about it because i think it's fun to just kind of think about the past and what we used to wear and what we used to like and if we would still like those things now if they would you know come back and be popular again so it's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you want to see another one i'll put one up on the screen if you're new don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video